Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik with RazorEmporium.com. Today to do another shave out of the personal Gillette Archive razors. We're going to be using a 1917 Gillette Bulldog military officer set razor. And for our software, we're going to be trying out some brand new fine accoutrements platinum. A brand new addition to Razor Emporium. All that and more. Let's get started. See how fine this angel hair really is. All right, we are all lathered up using a fine angel tip hair synthetic brush. And we are loaded up with our fine platinum uh, scent, the platinum collection, uh, the platinum scent, I should say. Uh, and we are gonna get finally ready to be shaving with our bulldog razor. Now this is a 1917 bulldog um, single ring style safety razor. This was put up into a couple different cases. The first being kind of like a antique gray leather style um, combination set travel case. And then later it was put up into this uh, green kind of army drab khaki material. Um, and it's called the military officer set with that. But it's the same razor regardless. Uh, and the Bulldog today is a very, very copied handle pattern but I think this is one of the first razors ever to feature it. And people call these razors Bulldog because of the short handle. We're gonna get started. So I've got a Paul Silver Blade. Usually my go-to. When I'm doing so many different variables, I try to keep a couple things constant and blades is definitely one of them. So far, it's definitely more of an aggressive razor than I personally would use on a daily basis, but it is nice. It's leaving me a very close BBS, you know, one pass shave. Yeah. You know, if you look back at some of the original Gillette catalogs and information, you'll see they don't talk about multiple passes. What they do talk about is short, kind of blade buffing style strokes. And they do also show a lot of skin stretching. Very important to do. And that's one of my favorite ways to kind of take the shave from good to better is just to do some skin stretching. I gotta be honest, after, um, after our last video a couple weeks ago with the single ring, which I really didn't enjoy too much, I was dreading today's shave. I wouldn't say dreading, but I thought it was gonna be rough and kind of aggressive, but this is not so bad. One other thing I'm doing is I'm using a, a used blade, meaning it's had one use on it already, whereas normally I open up a brand new blade for, for a razor. So maybe with the open comb, that's one way it's kind of helped me out. So these razors were, you know, kind of coming out to appeal to the macho kind of guy, the guy who wanted a bigger razor. Even back then, 100 years ago, There were those who saw Gillette's standard single ring razor and wanted more. Um, and Gillette was, you know, already, what, 12, 13 years in business by this point, and they're finally coming out with a bigger handle.
Another feature they talked about was a generous grip and better balance. And I have to agree that it's nice. Uh, the balance point is actually almost a half an inch below the neck. I'm finding the good angle on this for me is just a little bit past what I normally would be. So like I'm, I'm used to kind of something like this. I'm noticing just a little bit more really works well. Now in terms of my soap, I haven't talked about that yet. First time using the, the fine accoutrements. We, uh, we just picked up the brand and they've been out forever. They're made in Netherlands. The founder's story kind of reminds me a little bit of my own where it sounds like he was looking for a better way to shave and ended up getting pretty involved with it and took the plunge, took the leap and made it his full-time full -time job. So really happy to be carrying these products. And I've seen them around for a long time. I've seen a lot of people have them in the shave of the days. And I finally said, let's just get it in. Let's do it. The brush is nice too. I use their synthetic brush. Um, I think synthetic has come a, a really long way. Uh, this was super soft, and I have to, you know, have to admit they call it angel hair tip, and it was very, very soft, but it had a ton of uh, backbone. And there's some guys out there that want, you know, the uber high mountain white or silver tip, you know, badger hair. I think this is just as soft, if not softer, than those those grades. The soap uh, from Fine is triple milled, so it does need a little more water than you're used to. In fact, when I was making the lather, I kind of overcompensated and it started slopping around a little bit, but it doesn't seem to have a problem with too much water. One other defining feature of um, the Fine Accoutrement soap is that it's tallow-based. There's a lot of different scents from them. Uh, they do have the refill pucks or uh, the traditional style that come in this little tub. Either way you go, I think you're going to be happy. They also have a matching um, aftershave splash or a balm. I picked the Platinum. I almost wanted to go with the American blend because that's their, their most popular, kind of their original. But I thought the Platinum, you know, something different. I think it's more new anyways. Trickiest part of my face, my my neck. And I have a little irritation on here from trying another new razor the other day that did not get along with me. So sometimes after so many times of you know using new products, I'm always just kind of wanting to go with my, my comfort products, my uh, comfort food kind of thing where stuff I know is going to be good on my skin and is going to kind of soothe and heal my skin up and we try to take a couple days between these shaves you know usually we do one a week or so um, sometimes two just depends on our schedule but yeah that's not so bad I did have one little weep around my neck but I'm going to chalk that up to a aggressive razor like the bulldog and shaving in a sound studio and not in my bathroom where you know, I love my hot shower beforehand and all that kind of stuff. But generally, 
great, close, smooth, comfortable shave. Um, gonna finish up with some fine platinum balm here. I'm really excited to try this. I, I just love balms. I Splashes are great and I, I do enjoy them from time to time, but with my skin, oop, let's put that anywhere. With my skin, um, I really do like the balm. Oh, wow. That feels great. After, after a close shave like that, very nice. I think they say on the back that it has, oh, witch hazel and uh, chamomile and vitamin E and menthol. So I really do like that menthol. Usually you don't, you don't think of menthol in an aftershave balm, but it has a nice kind of cooling effect, almost like alcohol would without that sting. And the vitamin E, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. I really like this. It may, it may topple my, uh, my other favorite product, which is the Parasa White Aftershave Balm. And I, I really do like the milk glass style container, kind of a traditional um, container here. I may have to take this one home. Uh, very nice shave overall. Um, so we had the Bulldog. I would probably say it wouldn't be my go-to razor, but definitely in a pinch or if something just kind of a historic shave, wanting to kind of have some nostalgia, really cool. It has a nice low profile head, uh, a little bit aggressive for my taste, but I'm someone who likes more of a medium to maybe medium mild razor as it is. The brush performed awesome. Um, took me just a little bit getting used to the fact that it's not a badger because I do use badger at home and you know, almost all the time. Um, but if you're looking for something with a lot of backbone, but super soft tips and then a really great price point, you cannot beat this. And it has a really kind of cool vintage look. Reminds me of like an old EverReady or Burma Shave brush or something. And then last but not least, our uh, Platinum Shave Soap performed wonderfully and uh, didn't seem to care how much water I threw at it. Uh, being triple milled and, and having the tallow base was very, very slick and moisturizing. And I think if I didn't have that, um, that bulldog would have felt a little more aggressive. So that's all we have today for our shave. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys found today's video informative and enjoyable. Leave a comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time here at Razor Emporium for all things wet shaving.